Hey, welcome to Sam Tech Pro. Do like, subscribe to support us. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Sam Tech Pro DIY team. So here we are with another project. It's a stun gun and looks cool. It's a laptop case actually. You can see the power plug input of laptop and here are the prongs. The prongs are made of copper wire. These copper wires were thick and has the same diameter what I used in my inverter project. I took them out of computer ADX power supply in which we there is a toroid of thick coil. Here we press this push button and we see the arc. And how much strong is that? Let's see. Yes, this is enough. Here we burnt the cardboard. You can see the smoke. It looks cool just because of my sticker on it. Don't you think so? This button is actually handling high current of 1 ampere. It's not portable, I didn't add a safety switch. Uh, yes, there must be a safety switch. Battery is directly connected to this power jack. So I can charge the battery with my lab bench power supply. If you don't know how to build that lab bench power supply, or if you're interested in building that, follow the link given in the description. So I need to add a safety switch over here in future uh, which will make it portable and safe. Overall this thing is nice. I can estimate the voltage of the arc is around 14 kV by measuring the distance of the prongs. The switch is connected to the battery and it makes connection between battery and pulse transformer. Hey, let's check the arc. My hand is quite far from it. Of course, high voltage is really dangerous. Here, you can see my finger is getting a spark. And I feel, and I feel something's burning. I can smell it burnt my skin. Let's test it directly at my finger. Whoa, that was really very dangerous. I would definitely recommend not to try this. It really burns skin. These are the pulse transformer we can use. They are available on all online selling stores. I used this type because this was available at that time. They claim very high voltage, but in fact this is not that high. In fact, my transformer, this one was supposed to be 20 kV, while it's not 20 kV. Alright, the connections are so simple, I just bypassed battery positive through a switch. Uh, you can do it uh, in your own way, uh, like you can add a charging circuit, etc. The battery I use is a 3.7 volt, uh, came out from a mobile phone, I'll show you later. I tear it down and show you its internal structure. Here is the box I used. We open it and we see no iPhone but stun gun. At least it's better than iPhone. Here I will remove these tie clips.
sticker is disturbing now. Alright, that's done. And here's the mess. This is Samsung oldest mobile phone battery. What I used. And here is a switch uh, to which this battery is connected. And here I already told you that this power jack is directly connected to the battery. So I charge it with my lap bench power supply. Here is the pulse transformer I was talking about. And it's connected just via switch and these wooden piece is used to separate these uh, copper uh, prongs and I think it's done wonderfully well that's it I hope you like this video please give a thumbs up I think this stun gun besides a stun gun is a good arc lighter you can carry with you and also it's a defense weapon maybe uh, but I'm not sure about that anyways thanks for watching please like this video subscribe my channel with clicking on bell also so you'll be getting notification on my uploads share this video at your YouTube channel Facebook if you have one etc and thanks once again see you next time